The foundation of quantum mechanics is explained by the following experiment. Suppose we have a wall with two holes. Suppose we shoot marbles at it, one marble at a time. Behind the wall, we have a cloth. Each time a marble hits the cloth, we mark where it landed. As marbles hit the cloth in the same spot more than once, we mark the red mark darker. Some marbles make it through the holes by bouncing off at an angle. But most marbles that make it through the holes continue in a straight line. After a while, there will be many red marks on the cloth. The darkest red marks will be directly behind the two holes. Now suppose the two holes are very narrow. Suppose the marble is very small. Now the result is very different. A striped pattern is produced. The marbles never hit the cloth in the areas between the stripes. All particles in the universe produce this striped pattern provided that both they and the holes are small enough. No matter how many times we repeat this experiment, and no matter what type of object we use to replace the marbles, the result is always the same. Only one known phenomena can explain this result. Waves. When a wave passes through a hole, it spreads out on the other side. If there are two holes, two waves are produced. When you have two waves, they interact with one another. In some areas they strengthen each other, and in other areas they cancel each other out. This creates a striped pattern. This is the exact same pattern that we saw before. This means that all objects really behave like waves. But if all objects behave like waves, then why don't we see a striped pattern for the large marbles? Large objects have much more energy than small objects. Waves have more energy by having a higher frequency. When waves with higher frequencies interact with one another, the pattern is different. Large objects have more energy, and they therefore behave like high-frequency waves. This is why large objects do not produce a striped pattern, but small objects do. But there's still a problem. For a wave to produce a striped pattern, 
Each wave must simultaneously pass through both holes, so that there will be two new waves that interact with one another. But we're shooting the marbles at the wall only one marble at a time, 